Welcome to a galaxy far, far away, because in honor of Star Wars Day, Kim and myself on Nerd Alert are going to give you the definite Star Wars movie rankings. Now, Kim, I don't know about you, but I thought that this list, <laughs> yes. careful with the porg. Uh, he might go off in the middle of this video. Um, I don't know about you, but I thought this list was a little difficult to come up with. There were some easy choices, but some hard choices as well. It was, and I've made this list before, mm -hmm. and I've changed it since the last time I did it because of how hard I had to think about it. Now, real quick, we are not including the Star Wars Clone Wars animated movie in this list. So there are only nine movies on this list. There are all the live action movies. Let's go right, let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's, what is. Let's see if we match. Let's see, what is your number one Best Star Wars movie of all time, Kim. Empire. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, of we course. did it. Yep, we both match. <laughs> we is matched. there Irving Kirshner's classic with Yoda? You know, the, the, you know, do or do not. There is no try. Is there any other choice? There is no other choice. There isn't. It's so good because I mean, this is the this is the one you point to and people say, yeah, is the sequel ever better mm -hmm. than the original? Yes, and one of the biggest franchises ever. It is. Mm -hmm. And then of course comes the classic line of. Darth Vader being like, no, I am your father. The movie, probably one of the most- That's not true. Yeah. That's it's impossible. impossible. Well then jump off the tower, you idiot. Um, <laughs> Fine. My Darth Vader is very <laughs> is very short with his son. Um, all right, so I, I will, I'm very curious. We both agreed on number one. Uh, Kim, what is the second best Star Wars movie? What is number two? Oh, you're not gonna agree with me. Oh, I'm, I, I wonder what this is. It's A New Hope. I do agree with what? you, it's A New Hope. <laughs> no one ever agrees with me, I'm so happy. It is A New Hope, give a high five. Yeah, so I, I know it's not the best lightsaber action, I know it's not mm -hmm. the best fighting scenes, but this is where we start off the, the classic yes. hero's journey. This is the movie where I actually cry in a wordless scene mm -hmm. almost every time. And that's when Luke is like looking off into the horizon. Yeah. And we hear the, the binary swell stars. of the music and he's thinking, I don't know what's ahead for me, mm -hmm. but there has to be something. And I, I, I've i always related to that really hard. This is, it, it, it is the simplest of all the Star Wars movies, but that doesn't mean that it can't be accepted as one of the best. As you write, it is so thematically strong with the music and the characterizations and when Obi-Wan dies, it really, it does, it, it really, I mean, even though it is a little cheap that, of course, it crumbles and it's only a, a you know, a piece mm -hmm. of cloth, but it doesn't matter, it, does, it means that it's very strong. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just confused, I'm over, overwhelmed by Obi-Wan. I Obi -Wan. always laugh about that because Luke freaks out hard. Yeah. And then Leia And he gives them away, whole, Darth Vader's like, oh, there's the guys right Leia there. Leia lost her whole planet and she didn't react like that. Yeah, there's not one scene in that movie where uh, Leia Oh, are ripped. you sad because the old man you met yesterday died? My whole planet's gone. But he was a wizard, Leia. <laughs> oh, such a cool wizard. All right, uh, I wanna keep going down this list because I wanna see where we diverge. Oh, we're gonna diverge here. My number three, is Return of the Jedi. Uh, mine is The Force Awakens. Oh, okay, Here's here we go, here's the first <laughs> fight. Um, I think the original trilogy are the three best Star Wars movies. And do, while I do admit that Return of the Jedi is the weakest because of the Ewoks and because Han Solo basically has nothing to do on that movie but wander around a planet in the forest and get lost, um, he should have died on the Death Star, on the Millennium Falcon, like, like the original ending of that movie was supposed to be, but the throne room sequence between Luke and Darth Vader with his green lightsaber and how Darth Vader's story comes to an end, I think is, is very strong and is often overlooked in that movie. Why Force Awakens? I've noticed something about my list and it's the ones that made me feel things the most mm -hmm. are ranked higher than the ones that I was bored. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> we'll you, get there. Made you feel so the pulse? The Force Awakens, yes, I know it's fan service, but I am a fan and I like that, so sue me. I, I really, after the prequels, I didn't know what to think what yes. would come out. And I was so delighted with what came. I was so delighted with the new characters, except for Phasma, who didn't get enough screen time. Um, I I was just so pleased with this. And I know I'm not supposed to like this as a true Star Wars fan, but I do. And mm -hmm. it made me happy, and it made me feel the warmth and the joy of this idea that Star Wars carries on, mm -hmm. this this fight for what you believe in, and uh, you know the classic good versus evil, but is it as binary as it was before? Mm -hmm. I like these ideas that are seeping in now, and I, I really liked The Force Awakens. Uh, now the reason The Force Awakens does not make my number three, Force Awakens is my number four. What? Is because for me, we're in a new time period, and I'd rather see a new enemy instead of just seeing the 
Empire again. So I'd rather give it to the original Empire in Return of the Jedi. That's why, for me, Force Awakens is a step down, because I feel like you're just giving me the same enemy I've already seen, and I'd rather see other one. So let's, let's, let's blow through the rest of this list. We've got the okay, top three. Okay, my number four let's, was Rogue One. All right, it's interesting. All right, it's, I liked Rogue One. Let's it, just hear your whole list. Okay, four, Rogue One. Five, Return of the Jedi. See, I put it up there. Okay, all right. Six, The Last Jedi. I was not crazy about that movie. I thought it was fine. Uh, seven, Revenge of the Synth. Synth? The Synth. synth. <laughs> number eight, Attack of the Clones. Number nine, The Holiday Special. Number 10, The Phantom Menace. Yeah, <laughs> I dislike Phantom Menace that much. Wow. Uh, okay, my reminder is uh, number four is Force Awakens. My number five is episode three, The Revenge of the Sith. Even mm -hmm. Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi kicks ass. Uh, my wow, number six, that's real high. <laughs> uh, my number six is Rogue One. My number seven is uh, The Last Jedi. Yeah, I'm, I think that movie's boring. Uh, number eight is episode two, but we do agree my number nine is episode Episode one, except for the pod racing, my God, that movie, I would put Lumpy ahead of episode one. I would yeah. agree with you. And B. Arthur. I mean, that movie. Yeah. There's Okay, there's the pod racing scene, the pod racing announcer, not enough of Darth Maul, mm -hmm. too much dumb luck, that kid. It's just, oh, Jar Jar. Why Jar -Jar. does he get promoted so high? It's a lot. So, yeah, yeah that is the bottom. Um, I know everyone has their own list. We can't even agree on ours. No. There's no like solid. No one will list. ever agree. And nobody's choices are wrong because we all love Star Wars again. And we're all fans of Star Wars. Nobody's a true fan of anything. We're all fans of everything. All right. That is perfect. Mm -hmm. That is how I view fandom as well. Audience, what is your list? Please let us know. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. Go for it. May the fourth be with you.